everybody. It's noon. I was out here this morning doing some casting, uh, but I just kind of want you to see, there's the Burke Mountain behind me. You can see it behind the trailer, like right up, right up there. It's snow. So it's not really the warmest day, but geez, it's sure is beautiful. I don't know where the goats are. They're probably hiding out front, but uh, there's uh, Pippi, there's Tippy, and uh, Jack and T are around here somewhere, but let's, uh, it was just, just, it's just nice, you know? Um, it's one of those nice days. <sighs> so we'll go into the studio. Ah, nice in here on a day like, like, like today, like right now, the door opened just a little bit, not too much. The sun coming in. I'm going to turn on the radio. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to figure out what I'm going to start on and uh, we'll make ourselves a video for today, an educational jewelry video today. So uh, reach out to a friend. I always check on your pals, maybe call somebody in your family if you still like them, um, and see how they're doing, and uh, make sure you treat yourself to a nice cup of coffee, and uh, be kind to your animals. All right. Well, we're over in the studio, got that figured out, uh, and I put in that uh, the casting from this morning into the pickle pot. I kind of want to show you how that comes out. Try to get that to come out the right way. That's how it comes out of the pickle pot, nice and white like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, you like my slick advertising? Um, that's a website address of mine that I haven't kind of got up and running, but I just wanted to see how it was gonna look in the video. That feels nice. Um, I should make myself nice. I have too much jewelry to wear. Okay, uh, you guys, uh, this, so I've already cut this sprue off, right? And I've already shaped that a little bit. I did that well, it was just right out of the casting. Uh, the button's in there too. Uh, and remember, in the pickle pot, just use the tongs, just the copper tongs only, right? And then put it in a little bit of water to neutralize the... Uh... Okay. So I just hacked that off behind me on device. On device with the hacksaw. It's a silver, and I clean up around there, and I save my silver scraps. Okay, so this is going to be sanded and then uh, polished, call marked, and then uh, and then we're going to put some nice red gems in there. It might be a 20 minute video today, uh, so let's get started and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so let's see if we got the right angles here. Turn that on. Get ourselves a pair of work glasses. Close the door a little bit. Yep, yep, see that girl. I need to close it all the way, but I love it. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, try to put things back where they're supposed to go. Okay, so I'm using, uh, I'm gonna use a a sandpaper disc first. Hmm. This is a repair I still haven't gotten to. Okay, so. So, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing while you're watching. I got the foot control down here. I'm gonna turn my light on. And then I'm just gonna start sanding. Now, remember what I said. I wear a dust mask when it comes to this type of stuff, just for my health. I have for 20, well, you know, 15 years for sure. And so I'm gonna start sanding. I'll do a little sanding in front of you. It's all right to do the front, right? Just don't, 
don't take away all the detail. I go inside and outside. And like where I got with a hacksaw here, you know, that's going to be made to look nice. You got to take these little gouge marks out of it. Okay, so that takes a while. Okay, so that's coming along real nicely. You get the axe inside, it's all poly it's all sanded. This is all sanded, all the edges. It feels smooth, it feels nice. Okay, so you're Okay, see where I wear the mask, the dust mask? Okay, so now, oh, let's see if I can get this thing out of here. Mm -hmm. I'll put this in the magnetic tumbler now for a while. 20 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, 20, 30 minutes. I'll check on it every now and then and double check it. And what these fine little uh, stainless steel shot does, it's real fine like a pin, almost a small section of a pin. It gets in behind the feathers and, the, and the, it'll make it look nice. Okay, you guys, I'll get back to you on that. Okay, so this is about, uh, oh, 15 minutes later. See how it's starting to get a shine to it already? Yeah, but that's probably enough. So, now before I set the gems, I'm going to do a little polishing. Can we uh, see, where's the polishing at? Huh, there it is. Okay. Now again, I'd wear a mask normally, right? I've showed you that about 60 times. Okay, so we finished on the polishing machine. I went back to the bench and I polished on the inside. And uh, I used a bristle brush and I polished around the face and everything like that. So, oh, I got the heat. Okay, back into the ultrasound for, oh, I don't know. It's got that waxy buildup, that dirty waxy buildup on it. The ultrasound really cleans, but silver, if you leave it in the ultrasound too long, it starts to get a little bit of a, flat white finish on it. It's a, I guess it's the ultrasound actually getting onto the top layer of the metal. So you gotta watch out about that. There's a happy medium. So you know, this goes in there for a few minutes. I know I'm gonna have to polish this again. So just maybe get a brush, get the big stuff off of there, steam the face, steam the face a little bit. Get the big chunks off and throw it back in there. Even enough time to make yourself a nice cup of coffee. Okay, so that should just about be right, right, about right now. Okay, so one sec here. Let's, uh, let's turn the water on a little bit. A little bit of a soft brush.
Okay, we're back at the steel workbench. I really like the steel workbench for hallmarking. And anything I'm gonna do hammering because it's a very rigid surface. It's not like you're, anything's gonna give except for. Now, I'm gonna get my chair. I like my comfy chair. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's awful bright today, but that's easy, you know. It's nice, the sun's coming in the window, dot CA. And then uh, I see the double X there. So I, all these years I know to look. Okay, so that's the bling. And I gotta use that twice. Where's a little hammer? Right there, my old dad's rack. Okay, so I just pick a spot on the back. Okay. You see how, in a case like this, I started it on this edge. I had it flat, but I started on this edge and I worked my way over. It gives a nice deep, deep thing. Now, now this one here isn't as wide, so a nice just straight shot. Yeah, that's nice. Look at, I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice. There. Okay, and you know what? This is sterling, so let's put the sterling stamp in there too. Uh, maybe right up there. Okay, you guys. Okay, well, um, at the setting bench, I, I turned the light off so you can see it going. Um, where's the ring? Right here. Now, when I was doing the wax, when I'm doing the wax for a lot of things, I pre-set up the the wax around the eyes so that when I and I actually you see the red wax on here maybe a little bit I so I took the red this thing here the setting burr uh, and this is a 90 uh, and I I put it in there already And so I'm going to go in there again under the eyebrow and then take away a little bit of the cheek so the gem fits in there. And again, the other eye. Put the pickup stick in your hand. This is wax and charcoal, so it just needs to be warmed up a little bit, right? So can you see? Can you see that? So I'm going to pick that up. by somebody okay that needs to be just widened up a bit more and the same with that one okay so so instead of changing the bit just take the bit once you get it in here get it under there and move it around a bit perfect now, you only want to do one at a time because the other one pops out. <sighs> right? Get your finger on it. <laughs> I wanted it to come out because I, I wasn't happy with the way it was sitting in there. So. Be 
because you kind of want to have them pointed in the right way. There we go. That's nice now. I can live with that. Like that's really nice. Yep. Take your time to shape the eyebrow, uh, the uh, the cheekbone again too, right? Okay, that thing's not going any. Those eyes aren't going anywhere. Just use a little bit of a kind of a, I think they're called pumice wheels, and uh, you just kind of clean off the cheek brow where all the hammer marks were, and so it's nice. And then you know what? Back to the polishing machine. Inside. Oh, hi, Tia. You guys brought a bone in. Hi, Jack. And then into the ultrasound. Turn that on a little. Jack, you come to visit. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello. Did you want to say hi to everybody? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Jack. 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 Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. You say hi to everybody? And that was Tia. Hi, bud. Oh, you're such a good boy. Okay, yeah. Uh, he doesn't like this. He doesn't like the studio that much. I don't. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why he doesn't like the studio that much. But maybe a bit of scary equipment in here. Uh, okay. Uh, where were we? For we were so rudely, rudely interrupted. Got a cup of coffee going. A lot of salt nuggets. I got plenty of it in the fridge in the house. Okay, so now, you don't want to use a silver, no, oh, excuse me, you really don't want to use a toothbrush now. On the final polish, uh, even the toothbrush seems to leave scuff marks on sterling silver. So, depending on what kind of toothbrush you got, I mean, if you got a real soft bristle or something like that, no problem. But you really, at this point, I'll do one last close-up picture of it. Okay, you guys, so like I've said several times, uh, I can't tell you enough, be kind to your animals, otherwise don't have them. It's that simple. See, Jock, I mean, even though he's a little scared when he comes in here, it's all sorts of equipment he's not used to. I don't, I don't force him to be in here, um, but he comes and checks on me. That's my dog. Okay, I've got uh, the chickens. Got uh, two dozen eggs out front today. They're producing like every day 24 eggs, which is what they should be doing. That's nice. 
um, made the loaf of bread. I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen that. I, I don't know why. And uh, may Wally, may he rest in peace. And uh, and Marilyn, his wife at the time, uh, Mar uh, Wally passed away in a bike accident. Uh, they bought that bread maker for us as for me and the Italian as a wedding present. So I've been married for 22, 23 years, somewhere around there, and it's been with me that long. I been using that bread maker for years. So I just was on the bottom of a shelf. I moved into this house and I kind of had forgot about it. And then I was looking for something and uh, I went, oh, I'm going to make a loaf of bread. And so I've, uh, I'm on my second loaf now. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll end off the, I, I'm going to do a close up of this one. And then I'll maybe go in the house and have myself a nice piece of French bread. I, I made the French loaf. And uh, I did a video about it the other day or yesterday and uh, it turned out nice. Okay. So this one's going to be a long one, you guys, but it's a, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, you know, I've edited it too. I mean, this just didn't just get done in 20 minutes. Like, it's, it's like 2 o'clock now, and I started at 9. Okay? Have a great day.